Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful card. To begin with, I'm going to start with a piece of card so that measures 4 and 3 quarters by 9 and a half inches and I'm going to score it at 4 and 3 quarter inches. This way we're going to have uh, a, a 4 by 3 quarters by 4 and 3 quarters inches card and I just my scoring board to do that and I'm folding it. Also, you're going to need two pieces of cardstock, one red and one of the same color of your card base. They both measure 4 and 3 quarter inches wide by 4 inches tall. What I'm doing now is punching a circle out of the piece of cardstock just in the right top corner of the cardstock that I'm going to adhere at the very top of my card. The circle punch measures 2 and 1 quarter inches. Now I'm punching a little butterfly at the left bottom corner of the same piece of cardstock. Now I'm using this template that has a paper piercing holes with a guideline that has the same shape of the butterfly that I just punched out. All you need to do is line up the outline of the shape and then just start piercing just around the edge of the butterfly through those little holes. I'm using this paper piercing mat that it also can be used for stamping directly on it. This mat is great because it's nice and large and you can pierce through without damaging the table. I really like this technique because it adds another border to your images uh, without having to add another extra layer. It also adds textures and dimensions to your project. Now I'm doing the very same thing but with a circle template. Now I'm going to start punching out circles of different sizes starting with a half an inch circle punch then I punched out three circles that measures five eighths of an inch and finally I punched out a three quarter inch circle which is the biggest one Now I'm punching a small butterfly out of pattern paper. This one is a little bit smaller than the last one I previously punched out because I want to adhere it at the top of the other one to give it an extra volume or dimension. I want to add a little sentiment at the bottom of my card and I'm stamping it directly into some of the basil cardstock that was left over after cutting the card base. I am using painter's tape so the die doesn't move when I run it through my big shot. And also because it doesn't hurt the cardstock. It is very easy to take off, uh, but also if you want, you can use a piece of post-it. I am going to add a little border, so I'm using this border punch. All you have to do it's to slide the paper into your punch and center and press it down. Then you want to slide the paper all along but keeping one side flesh with the bottom and the other side lined to the printed image where the pattern is. Look at the great board that you get. This gives a great accent to your cards and it's very simple to use. Now I'm going to adhere this border to the 3 quarters by 4 and 3 quarters inches piece of cardstock. I'm using a score tape and I'll light it up to the bottom of my card base and trim the excess. Now I glue the border that I just punched out. I am using a Tombow Mono Multi Glue. This is a very strong glue. It has really a tiny tip on one end which is great for strips and really small things and also has a broad tip at the other end for a bigger surface. Once you adhere something you have only like uh, 10 seconds to move the layers around the way you want them to be to get straight and then you cannot move them anymore. It will be permanent. 
I just put a non-stick craft sheet under my work. It is great because it protects your surface. If you use inks, they will only stick onto your paper, but you can clean your craft sheet out with a paper towel and wipe it off. This mat is heat resistant, so you can emboss directly onto your mat. Also, you can use any type of masking, glue or spray, and it is really easy to clean it up. I am going to go ahead and start aging my borders to separate this piece of paper from the background which has the same color. I am using some vintage photo from Tim Hope's Distress Pads and I am applying some of the ink directly on the edge of the cardstock with a Tim Holtz blending tool or ink applicator. It gives a really nice definition. This is a water based ink so it stays a little bit wet a little bit longer so you can blend it very well. Now I'm going to put it all together and adhere all the pieces. I'm using my paper piercing template again to add some piercing edges to the butterfly. I put some score tape, which is very strong and thin. And I like it very much because I can reach difficult corners when I use the 1 8 inch score tape. And I can use it for small projects too. It is double sided adhesive, acid free, heat resistant and incredible sticky tape. Now I use a wider double sided tape. Now tap it down, flip it over and trim off all the excess. I round the corners with a corner chamfer. I love this tool, it's one of my favorites. Now I tape the sentiment down with the score tape and we are almost finished. Here we go. Isn't it cute? I'm going to put my card inside of this cute envelope. So I'm going to add a little band around it so I can close it. This is a piece of cardstock that measures 11 by 1.5 inches. I'm going to score it at 3.5 and 8.5 and inches. So this is the right size to wrap my envelope. So I can slide it up and down anytime I want. And um, Fold it over and put some score tape to close this. We're almost finished. Now I'm going to draw some dash lines along this band with a brown Copic marker. If you wanted to, you could uh, glue this card down to the envelope or it's up to you, you could uh, leave it just like this. Slide the band on again and put some decorative ribbon or something to embellish 
the, the little man. And we're done. Hope you like it. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.